Last time we done it, our SR20 Swap 300 ZX, we made 470 wheel horsepower. Which is great, but it's nowhere near the 600 horsepower goal we built this engine for. We want to hit over 600 horsepower. If you're new to the channel, let me get up to speed on this car. This is our Nissan 300ZX we paid $300 for. Once we got the car, we blew it completely apart, did a full build on it, and suspension, base side blue bait job, and a fully built SR20. Today, we're here at Apex to get this thing back on the dyno, make some serious power numbers, then we're going to head to top rank and see if we can trade it for a car. Skate decks are live right now on the 300ZX. We never do skate decks. I'm super stoked on the hour work. We got the engine in the back, throttle logo behind it. Also, every dollar you spend on Thrall.com buying skate decks or merchandise like this fresh new shirt with the skyline on the back is going to get you automatic entries to win our Evo 8 plus $20,000 of cash. And we're doing double entries right now. And this is also your last chance to get entered to win the Evo. So good luck. So we have changed some of the things on the SR20 to change the setup to allow us to run more power. So the thing that capped us last time was we ran out of injector. We actually spec the wrong injectors. We had 1200 cc's in here. That's not enough for an SR20. So we reached out to Beastworks. They sent us 2200 cc injectors like that. Immediately, it was awesome, slammed them in. So now we have more than enough injector to make up power we need to. Really looking forward to it. We're gonna make some serious numbers out of this SR. I'm What's going, your guess? I'm going 640 or more. I'm gonna go 662. Oh wait, no, 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 wait, 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 610. 610, I'm sticking with 640 plus. What do you think, Danny? I'm gonna say six flat. Six, six flat. flat, all right. All right, baby, let's make some power, let's go. Listen to that turbo whistle, baby. Shut her down a little early. So because we put new injectors in it, he's got to change all of the fuel trims and slowly kind of start to work up to the max power, the max RPM. So he's got the idle, the initial snaps, some drivability stuff dialed in. So now we're going to start rolling the RPM up and slowly start feeding the power in and see what it does. All right, well, Quinn's over at the dyno getting our 300ZX dyno to hit that big number. Ricky and I decided to shoot on over to Top Rank, which is just up the street, to see what they have in inventory today because... First of all, I didn't think this was that close to Apex. <laughs> this is really close not to it. Not too far. No, not too far at all. So it's perfect. Quinn's out there getting the dyno done. We are here trying to see what we can find. You see, maybe trade out the 300ZX for something here. Yeah, if we can get a fair trade for the 300ZX and do just no cash deal just trade car for car title for title some new maybe look at all these GTRs here dude maybe a GTR I mean I mean go calm down I don't think we can we can uh, trade that for that <laughs> maybe who knows but we're gonna go inside see Brian he's in there waiting for us and see what they have in the inventory that could be a perfect match to trade out our 300ZX let's go baby I hear there's someone in here I need to see oh, oh no private GTR oh, stuff going on here man what are you guys talking about here we're talking about this <laughs> <laughs> oh, this guy. everything is stopped, bigger right? in Texas. Well, not everything, but you know, apparently not this shirt. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Brian. What's up, man? Good to hey, see you. I'm kidding. That's a nice Corvette. I don't know. It's, it's no my denim but... shorts and my um, New, New Balance, Balance sneakers are actually brand new. In the <laughs> they came with the car. You know that? If you hire one of them from Tura, they give you denim shorts and um, New Balance sneakers. It's not every day you walk into your favorite importer and your favorite import is here. <laughs> <laughs> so, Brian, what do you got that we can take a look at? There's two cars that. Uh, are on my mind. One of them is one of my personal favorite cars. One of my personal favorite Japanese cars. I already cars know what it is. All time. I, I don't know what it he's is. He's told me. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's told yeah. me. Uh, and then you guys uh, were never gonna guess this one either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brian. Most people don't pin me as being that guy, yeah. but I. Oh man. I've, I know now. On the low, <laughs> I'm running around in one of these all the time. Um, and then, uh, and then the other one's an Evo. Okay. Like Evo eight and nine. Uh, like a four. Evo four. Ooh, yeah. I like those. I'll be honest. Evo four, Evo five are my favorite. So yep. yeah. I'm actually excited to see what you have here. All right, let's go check them out. Now, why don't we start with the surprise one first? Okay. Follow me over this, this is, way. This is your closet favorite car this ever. Is, man, I love this car. I'm gonna own one myself. <laughs> um, absolutely, 100%. You, you don't have to talk me into this. This right here is the DC2 Integra Type R. And uh, I think this is a great car. It's got the Backyard Special carbon front bumper. I see that. It's pretty cool. It's on white TE37, which I know you love. Love that. It has the uh, black interior, which personally I'm a fan of. That's the way, yeah. The red seats are really awesome. Them, and I know that they're pretty standard for the Type R, that's what people expect, but the mismatch seat thing is just hard for me because the back seats are always gray. Yeah, they only this have the one, red fronts, right? I don't get it. Looks like an Integra to me. It is an Integra. It is an Integra. Recaro's. Yeah, and you're oh, right. that's cool. They are matching, which is kind of nice. Yes. Yeah, that's factory, man. No, no, no he's right not. Here. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. That's is factory it? on the Type R's, yeah. yeah man. 
So yeah, uh, I like this car a lot, a lot. Have I've, you been driving this one? Um, I've I have personally driven this one. I every time I start to get attached to one, it sells. Now I just need to start driving this one more. And then I was driving it a little bit, and then Yasuko was like, "Hey, uh, throttle guys, want to come by and take a look at the Integra?" And I was like, "Wouldn't that be something?" <laughs> Maybe we sell it for him. Yeah. So I think I'll get one for myself after everybody that I meet gets one for themselves. So that way I don't have to sell the one that I'm driving. I have actually driven a few of these. So today Ricky is going to drive it and tell me what he thinks. I've never met anybody. Dude's driving the most expensive Lamborghini you can buy that would disrespect this car. Okay. I think it's just like, it is a car that no matter what kind of car you're into, there is a level of appreciation for the Integra Type R. There just is. I think you can know? say the same and thing about like an R32 GTR. No, no I meet a lot of people that hate those cars really i just i nobody hates it i have never met anybody that has anything bad to say like the gtr you there's that certain crowd that's like they're overpriced they're overrated they're not that good you know that kind of thing yeah. which i in my opinion is not true but yeah. some people do have that opinion i don't run into people that have anything bad to say about an integra type r i've sold these cars to 16 year olds and i've sold these cars to literal billionaires they just people like <laughs> oh, the integra type right. r yeah. he actually sold all these to a billionaire yeah, who could have any car on the planet love the integra type r and you know what i never understood that until i started driving one around a lot and i was like man this car really does do everything well and it's a car that like you don't have to make fast right i can it's appreciate just good. that I, I just enjoy cars, it the way cars it that do everything really good really grasp my attention like a cappuccino yeah Launch it, baby. Right now. Hey, can we do a burnout? Oh, the clutch is very low. Yeah. Oh, it sounds like a Civic. <laughs> sounds like a Honda. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I get Dude. excited when I drive a Honda. It was good. Excited. It feels yeah. good. I don't know why, but it reminds me of my high school days. Did you hear the VTEC? <laughs> it's so loud. Brakes. Let's see if the brakes work. Oh, yeah, they work. Wow. Actually, brakes are good. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, you hear the VTEC so loud. Yeah. Right, it's my job to miss shifts, Ricky. If we were to get this Integra Type R. <laughs> They can't hear me over the VTAC, dude. They can't. <laughs> I like this. We could make a monster out of this thing. We could go, you know, call up Sony at S1, do an all-wheel drive conversion. We could case Wait, swap it. Yes. That would be really cool. Yes. We haven't done an all-wheel drive Honda yet. No, we haven't. We can make the money I like Brian's choice here. I really do. I like the car. And I think that this is probably in the range of what our 300ZX is worth. In my opinion, like for many years of my life, this B18C was my godsend. So this is D18C? No, B. B18. B is in boy. Oh, oh like, like the one that came in the SI. Twin cam, 1.8 yeah. liter, VTEC, all the bells and whistles. That's why this car sounds so cool. I mean, of course it has an exhaust on it. It, it, it moves really good too. Yeah, it's quick. You can tell it's very healthy. Yeah, it strong, very healthy. good compression. This is a good car. I like this one. I, I like think it has a lot of potential. Now, Brian already told us he's got an Evo for us to try to enjoy. I'm a big fan of Evos. Ricky loves uh, Evos. Uh, this I'm, is, a, I'm a huge Evo. Uh, I'm wearing an Evo shirt today, and that's just coincidence. But let's actually have Brian walk us around this Evo 4. If this is a better choice for us, we've, we've also never done an earlier model Evo. So we've done Evo 8 and Evo 10. We've driven Evo 5, I think, previously. Previously, I have. Um, Ricky, have you ever driven a four? I think a three is the last one I okay. drove. Uh, next, I mean, rule number one of car sales, know your audience. So behind me, <laughs> we have- hey, is this car sales 101 <laughs> or? <laughs> Another white on white car. Yeah, he, which, really, he really did it to me. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> come on, you know. It's white on white. All right, we'll take both. Yeah, got to make it somewhat difficult. Uh, also really practical. This one's got four doors. It's got a back seat. It's got a decent sized trunk. You can do some stuff with it. And uh, and it's cool. It's also all wheel drive. It is very cool. The arrow on these cars from the factory is insane. Like I was just showing Ricky and noticing this rear wing. You notice this crest? It kind of matches the Mitsubishi Diamond Star logo, which is really neat. Like they kind of carried it through in the, the design of the aesthetic. It is rad it's cool the rally lights in the front yeah, definitely really pop out obviously how, this is factory but these aftermarket that's how the car came in okay yeah so when you guys bought the car the previous owner had installed that or something yeah, yeah. 
Mm -hmm. okay. Yep, but otherwise got the uh, white Anki wheels. Factory Recaro's in this one too, just like in the uh, Integra Type R that you just saw. How can you not love this? This is what I, I get excited about. This thing is all-wheel drive. Remember how we were it is turbo from our intercooler to huge lights. I love the white on white. I like that. Oh, it's beautiful too. G63, Apex filter, HKS, HKS blah, 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 blah. HKS uh, cold pipe. Oh, what do we got here? Tommy. Is that just a cup? Tommy. All right, man. Ain't nothing to it but to drive it. Yeah, you got to drive it now. No, you're driving it. No, you, you drive it. You, he drove the one that you wanted. You drive the one he wants. Yeah. I Let's will see. say Honda's key game is on point because this is whack. Right? Okay. <laughs> you win that one for sure. That key is not that cool looking. Oh, it's so comfortable oh. too. Look at this. Well, why why are these more comfortable than the Integra <laughs> 4G63s do sound good when they start up. They do. Dude, this clutch grabs so high. Oh, really? So the intake was very low. Re dude, which this I, one's like which all I liked the it. top. Ooh, I like seeing the wing in the rearview mirror. Yeah. This feels peppery. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> yeah, dog. <laughs> HKS Super Sequential sounds good. Let's go, baby. Oh, we got temperature now. We can, we can give her. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> she moves for sure out of the brakes. <laughs> Mickey. What? Mickey. It's a test drive. This car is good and this car is fast. This car is it way is. faster. It is, than it is, it is. It's really fast. Dude, I'm such an evil freak. I love it. I'll be honest, the gearbox feels super good. This does not feel oh, like good. a 25 plus year old car. Man, I'm on I'm on team Mitsubishi right now. Yeah, brother. me too. This is another car we could build into an absolute horsepower monster if we wanted. Yeah. Or this thing has tons of rally lineage and history that we could like pull from and just make a really, really cool, clean street car that has a lot of heritage and uh, cool parts on it. I can't remove the smile off of my face right now. <laughs> Japan had their stuff together I 25 know, years ago, man. Really all of these cars from all of these manufacturers are so good, even to this day, I would take some of these cars over a brand new car. The only thing that kills me is the lack of technology, but nowadays yeah. with aftermarket head units and stuff like that, you can kind of you, bring the tech up. Yeah, you can kind of make that happen with your own. You and so, it yourself. Oh, you and I did that on my R33, and yep. the sound system's amazing, has doubled in, CarPlay, all the nav, same sorts of things we could do here, which is really cool. All right, well, we have a tough decision to make. Uh, both of these cars are fantastic. Fantastic. Well, they have a tough decision to make. I mean, yeah, but we have to accept. Yeah, yeah, we really want to hear what you guys have to say. Like, I'm curious to see what they want to see next. Me too. Because they're, they're both really unique cars, and they're both so different as well. Bro, the AC, really? <laughs> You can't go wrong with it. Ice cold. You know, I will give that to top rank. Every car I've bought from them, and it's gotta be eight or nine at this point, every one of them, I've picked it up, got on that street right there, went to go home. Four hours on the freeway, turned the AC on, and it blew. Super cold. Ice cold. Yeah. It worked, everything worked. All the maintenance was done. You could literally hop in this, drive it back down an hour and a half to San Diego, and have zero worries. That's what I love about top rank and their service yeah, department here, is that when you get a used car that's 25 years old from them, you have no worries. You get in it, oil's already done, fluids are up, everything works and you're on your merry way. You pay what you get for. I think you mean you get what you pay for. You pay what you get for. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go tell Brian what we think and see where we land. The Evo has a lot of potential, even That's at this true. age. How old is that car? 96. 96. Same year, Same year for both, yeah? yeah. So now you want the Integra and now you want the Evo. Oh, yeah, we, oh, I never said that. Oh, I thought that's what you said. I appreciate the Integra, but I'm still that evil guy. I mean, give me your closing thoughts. We, if we take one. We can't take or, anything because we need to get 20,000 likes on this video before we do anything. You know what? I would love it if you got the Evo because you know what that means for me? What? I can keep driving the Integra. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, maybe we make a pact. I don't know. It all comes down to you guys. So some comments down below. Let us know what you think. And um, we're going to have to give Brian a call, come back and pick up one of these cars, hopefully. <laughs>
looking really good. I want bigger numbers, brother. We're not there yet. We're not at boost yet, brother. This is bait. This is this is as low as it goes. That's what that is. 440 on that is ridiculous. So one thing we figured out last time is we filled up the catch cans relatively quick, so we added a second one, but just to keep it on top of it, I'm gonna drain the catch cans every couple of pulls just to make sure everything doesn't stay filled up. Because if it overflows, it blows all of the junk all over the engine bay, and that sucks. So we don't want to do that. So I'm gonna periodically be draining the cans through the day to keep them empty so that doesn't happen. She's already full, baby. Starby, little Starby cup, dude. We're gonna top the fuel off. We got the Sunoco 85R, baby. Of course, you already know. Let's get it in. Some boost juice. All the boost juice. The 85R, we run it in all of the high power cars. It's so good, dude. It's such a good, stable, quality fuel. We made 1,100 horsepower on this with the Supra. We've made over 1,000 horsepower on this with the Viper. Like, just a solid go-to fuel. Back to power poles, baby, let's go. It's so loud, dude, it hurts. I forget it has a screamer pipe on it until it, the gate opens, and then it's like unbelievably loud. That's higher than our first dyno day. 478, so we're already above. He added like maybe a pound or two. Dude, I'm feeling good. Sixes? Six is unlocked, dude. Easy. Crazy, dude. Yeah, you like that? Do it a Oh! Bro. Come on, Sean. You got me, bro. 530. Second full series full adding boost. We're already at 530. It's game over, dude. I think I'm on the money. You think? I don't think so, dude. Six, ten. You don't even know how much boost he's in. How much? We should ask him. You want to uh, ask him? I'll, let me take a bet. Okay. 23. Um, I was going to say 23. If it's I 23 it. and we go to 34, you're smoked. Okay. Six but easy. Let's see where he's at. All right. Hey, what do we have for boost? 28. 28? 28? Oh, oh dang. I'm on the money. Oh, dang. I'm winning. All right. All right, we'll 28, see. What's that? We where, have, we at? where we at? 28, we have room to go up to what? 34? We need another 50, and then we're at 600. So it's freaking good. That's that's pretty much 550. Boost coupler popped off the turbo, so we gotta fix that. I also want to drain the cans again, and then uh, we'll get back to making power, baby. All right, our catch cans are drained. Our boost clamp is back together. We're ready to do our final pull on this car. Get this thing dialed in. What's up, boys? Oh, how's it going? All right, so we just made 550. No way. Wow. We went for another pull, but the boost clamp popped off, so we fixed that. Cans are drained. We're ready to do the final pull. We're gonna up it to 30. Has it better acting all right? Dude, it's other been great. Those... Literally, other than the boost clamp popping off, we've had zero problems with this. Okay. 550. 550 at the tire. Like those numbers. So we're already deep into the sixes yeah. as far as crank horsepower so we've, goes. We've done what we came here to do. Yeah. Yeah, but we, ain't done. we got one more pull, yeah? Yep, we got some more boost in it. We're gonna do another pull, see how much it makes. What, right. are you, what are you guessing? What's the final number? 578. Damn, I was gonna say 565. Well, <laughs> we just made 550. You should get on jump that much. I don't want more. Danny's pool. gonna throw some sauce at it, dude. That's 578. 565. 565? Yeah, I'm you hoping got no for faith, more. No faith in your no. boy? Okay, you guys just did 550 and you do one more pull. I'm, I think 165 is already pushing it. And then we're we'll, we gonna. We're gonna do more pulls, right? We might. Hey, that might be what? the last you one. We what? Do Ricky pull. says, you pay what you get for. <laughs> what? <laughs>
That was clutch? Alright, so we maxed out the clutch. It's not a bad problem to have at all. Dude, at this point, 6.15 at the tire, we're like almost in the sevens at the crank. I'm not surprised the clutch went. Freaking sick, we're making some serious power. That is it, we're done here today. The clutch slipped on the last pole, we went for more power, but we're gonna leave it at 6.15 at the wheels. That is an insane number out of an SR20, that's over 700 at the flywheel. I'm super proud of this engine setup and really proud of this car overall. We bought this thing for $300, it was a complete pile. We did literally everything. We rebuilt every single piece of suspension, built a full engine for it, SR swapped, sick Bayside blue paint job, beautiful interior, the kit looks amazing, the car looks amazing, and this thing is completely done so let me know down in the comments what you guys want to see us do with this car should we take it to car shows should we take it to SEMA should we take it to the track what should we do with it it's a sick really good setup car and I think people should see this thing we should take it to top rank and get something else that's what we should do <laughs> dude I'm proud of it look dude, it did so well it did it's such a good and it looks so it's nice 15. the engine bay looks beautiful Garrett Turbo the 2.3 liter stroker SR it sounds fantastic this thing's ready to jam dude yeah 615 is an insane number for an SR it's stupid Especially in a car this small and this light. It's gonna be a lot of fun for sure. Absolute ripper. So that's gonna be it for today's episode, guys. Thank you always so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment down below on how you think that 300GX turned out now that it's 100% finished. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Now let's go trade it for something else. <laughs>